Thanks for joining us. I'm Staff Sergeant Mariko Frazee. The Chief of Naval Operations began his U.S. 7th Fleet tour to strengthen the alliance with the Republic of Korea leadership and meet with sailors around the peninsula. Lance Corporal Jessica Valencia has more. The Chief of Naval Operations Admiral John Richardson kicked off his tour of the Navy's largest forward deployed fleet, visiting sailors, joint forces, and allies in the Republic of Korea, before holding an all-hands call with sailors serving at U.S. Garrison Yungsan. It's how proud I am of you, how aware I am of what you're doing out here, how important it is for us to maintain stability and keep things calm out here, do our deterrent mission so that we can continue to provide a, a sense of stability, predictability, a sense of order so that you know, the United States and the Republic of Korea and everybody in the region can prosper. Admiral Richardson concluded his visit around the peninsula with an all-hands call with U.S. Naval Forces Korea on Busan Naval Base. Every sailor, every one of us, needs to come with their A-game every day. We need to earn our title of best Navy in the world. I want to tell you thanks again for being out here, for having that adventuresome spirit to come out and work on the peninsula, be part of our Navy forward deployed. You got my ultimate respect, and I look forward to seeing you the next time I'm out here. I look forward to seeing you out in the fleet. Thanks very much. Reporting for DOD News, I'm Lance Corporal Jessica Valencia. Admiral Richardson continued his scheduled visit with forward deployed sailors and Naval Air Facility Atsugi and Fleet Activity Sasebo with tours of USS Chief, USS Bonham Richard and Carrier Air Wing 5, where he thanks sailors and Marines for their commitment to strengthening the U.S.-Japan partnership and maintaining peace and stability in the region. That does it for this news break. Thanks for watching.